Welcome back to the channel guys. So I'm out here in the hay field. I started baling a little bit last night and it was still just a little too tough. So I did the headlands, what you guys would call the headlands, all the way around the field. So I'm back out here tonight. I think it's 9 o'clock, 9 p.m. Gonna get ready to start baling tonight again. I'm gonna have this field finished up tonight, as long as we don't have any problems. I did have some problems with the baler last night. This is the first time out in the field this year. And I was having a problem with one of the nodders. This one right here. The twine disc. I don't know if they're wore out or just I adjusted them a little bit and it started coming out good, but I was getting some missing strings and broken bales out in the field, so we'll see how it goes tonight. But anyway, I thought I would do a little overview on this. So this is the knotter system on a small square baler. Uh, it's pretty damn complicated. I don't know if I could explain it in a video. You guys might want to go watch a, another YouTube video that can explain it more better than I can. But I'll, I'll give you the rundown of the concept. So your swath of hay gets picked up in through the header. And that right there is the plunger, it runs back and forth. And what it does is the hay feeds in through here. These feed fingers feed the hay into the plunger. It's all timed. And that plunger packs the hay. Through the bale chute. And that's the bell chute. So the right now, the, if you picture this in your head, the back of that plunger is right here, packing that hay. This metering wheel determines how long your bales are gonna be. And you can adjust them to whatever lengths you want. You can make a 12 foot bale or you can, you can make a two foot bale. We prefer 48 inch bales That's what our stacker picks up really nice 48 inch So when this metering wheel is it's dug into the bale that's packed I don't know if you can see here. It's packed that wheel turns Turns this arm up on a geared cam here with some teeth when that rolls that arm up there it trips a dog that dog will engage and roll the whole knotting system these gears will turn and the knot will be made um, like i said i wish i could show you how to how this worked i might do it in a future video when i don't have hay packed in here and everything's clean i can do it i've done it for my personal viewing experience and it's pretty cool in slow motion but I can't do it tonight obviously because I'm out here in the field so this is a new Holland 426 baler um, it's old but it does a good job when it works right these things, anyone that's ever run in a small square baler know that these things are temperamental. I mean, you've got to treat these things better than you treat your kids. Because all sorts of stuff can go wrong with them.
And I've got it hooked up to the Alice Charmers. Oh, before I get away from the baitler, I wanted to show you the inside of the plunger. So this PTO runs the flywheel. Yeah, that's a pretty good size flywheel. That thing packs some heat. That flywheel runs a gearbox. Chain off the side of the gearbox runs your nodders and your various other things, your your pickup teeth and your fingers, feed fingers. And then on the inside of the gearbox, you got this big arm and that is hooked to your plunger. Let's see if I can roll that around here. That in there is what's plunging your hay bales. Now, let me close this up. Dusty ass shit. Let's talk about our hay. So we raise pure alfalfa. There is no brome grass or anything else other than what mother nature puts into it from bird crap and this and that this is pure alfalfa and so we we pack our bales at 85 to 90 pounds depending on the dew at night we always bale at night or early morning when we got some moisture on it and that helps the leaves stick to the alfalfa going through the machine so that's a bale I bailed this actually during the day today because I was having problems with the nodder and I came out here and did some work on it. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, our bales run 80 to 95 pounds. If we get in a pinch and we have to dr bale during a little drier weather, if we don't have no dew at night, they'll run at 75 pounds. But, uh, That's what a field of baled hay looks like. And I did not reset my counter. I forgot all about it. So last year, minus what we did on this little piece, which I'm guessing is maybe 120 bales so far. But last year we did 4,460 bales through this baler, minus what we did today. So I'm gonna reset that right now. Let's see if I can get a video of it. Anyway, here's a little update. Um, I'm gonna post this video before I do another video. Tonight, I'm gonna catch some nighttime footage of me out here bailing. Probably won't be no good. The lights kinda suck on the tractor. But I did order a whole new set of LEDs off of eBay yesterday. And I'm gonna equip that tractor with all LEDs. Do some fancy light bars on it and light that old pig up so anyway thanks for watching guys